So um, how the child welfare system in Pennsylvania works is it used to be called the State Department of Public Welfare. That name's been gone for a few years now. They're now the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services, and they may soon be part of the new Pennsylvania Department of Health and Human Services. Pennsylvania is looking at doing a consolidation of their health and human services agencies under one umbrella, but there needs to be, I think, some legislative action to enact that. They're starting to appoint their directors and that sort of thing. And they're responsible. Um, they provide oversight. So they don't do direct service themselves, but every county has their own children and youth agency, all 67 counties. So there's 67 child welfare systems in, across the Commonwealth. They're provided oversight by the state. They have directives. They have policies, statewide policies, things, core things they need to adhere to. But every county does things slightly differently depending on who they are, their populations. As you can imagine, um, issues in Philadelphia might be a little bit different than some of the smaller rural counties. And the resources are vastly different. So things happen a little bit differently. Um, uh, Department, state Department of Human Services administers Child Line, which is the state child abuse hotline. And they are designated to receive calls of suspected child abuse reports across the Commonwealth. You can't call those into the, into the counties. They have to go into uh, the state. Criminal investigations of reports can happen at the same time by local law enforcement agencies. We'll talk about that a little, little bit later in terms of when they get involved, who does what. But the child, um, the investigation that's conducted by the local county child um, and youth agency, or Office of Children and Youth, depending on whatever it's called in your particular county, they are looking to protect children. They are not looking to affix or determine any criminal activity. That's not within their purview. So when you call into child line to file a report the child suspected of being abused or neglected, the primary purpose is to protect that child. Now that can result in a concurrent criminal investigation depending on what happens, but child line's purpose is to accept calls of suspected abuse or neglect. Um, multidisciplinary investigative teams, which means they're teams representing different disciplines that are involved in the well-being of children. Um, they're convened to coordinate child abuse investigations between the county child and youth agencies in law enforcement. That can be considered a multidisciplinary team, MDT, is what they're called for short, that is more informal between agencies, or it can be done through um, a child advocacy center, which is a national model for um, multidisciplinary investigation of child abuse and neglect. There are child advocacy centers across Pennsylvania. Not every jurisdiction has one. And reports uh, can be made 24 hours a day, seven days a week to child line by phone. Online for mandated reporters only. Uh, the general public can't at this point make an online recommendation. Um, and there's the website. You'll see it at several points when you have it in your handouts.